Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to our Tuesday evening introduction to LifeWave and this amazing technology with the star of the show, our product called X39. I'm your host for the evening, Robin Blake Mascari, and what we're going to do tonight is a, a brief little overview of a very special company, a little bit about the history of the company, and then we're going to introduce our special guest this evening. We have a uh, Dr. Jeffrey Hubbard tonight, and then it's your turn. So if you have questions, you please put them in the Q&A. That makes it really easy for me to find them and feel free to use the chat however you'd like, but put your questions in the Q&A. If you have a story, raise your hand um, when we get to that part of the evening. And remember that we, um, we don't make any claims. We're a natural products company. We don't claim to heal, cure, any dis-ease. And on our call, we only talk talk symptoms. So if you have a story to share, we'd love you to share it. And please symptoms only what it was like before your limitations, your challenges, uh, which, which patch you used and now what you can do that you couldn't do before, as we love hearing your stories. So let me jump in and oh, there is Dr. Jeff and let me just get him promoted and then we'll get things going here. Great. So LifeWave. LifeWave is a company that uh, started in 2004. Um, our founder, David Schmidt, is a scientist and an inventor. And he was on a government contract uh, and he was being asked to create something for the Navy SEALs that would actually support them in staying awake and high performing without any stimulants or chemicals while they were in their mini subs. And this product, um, got invented using a form of phototherapy uh, called photobiomodulation. And um, that product, <laughs> then 9-11 happened. And so things changed with the company and uh, with his invention. And the, the uh, government actually had a different priority at that time uh, when 9-11 happened. So uh, someone suggested that he find a great vehicle to get it out to market. And it requires a voice and a story. And in 2004, LifeWave was born. And since then, David has um, been continuing to invent and create and has amazing uh, creations that are changing the quality of people's lives. So David himself has over 130 patents and patent pendings. And he is an inventor and a scientist first and foremost. And, and uh, you know, where other company owners want to get the bigger boat and the bigger house, he just wants to spend more in research because we are a research and development company. And I want to do, I, I forgot to do this, a special warm welcome to those of you that are new and just checking us out for the first time. Uh, Lifeway is a very special company. It's been around 17 years. And in the early stages that first product exploded the company because it got discovered by athletes and one day uh, David Schmidt got a call from the women's Olympic swim coach Richard Quick saying six of my eight swimmers did their personal best of the first time using the patch and it is a non-transdermal patch and what that means is nothing is going into the body other than a frequency of light which is very exciting and um, it, it took off all over the world. Uh, there was a lot of testing done because people go Olympic swimmers, these patches, doping, they're doing so great. And the Olympic committee actually sort of, you know, um, accepted this patch because it is non-transdermal, nothing goes in the body. And now you'll find athletes all over the world in just about every sport you can think of, NFL, NBA, you know, Olympians all over the world are using this technology. And it's a technology called photobiomodulation. And we're going to talk with our doctor about that in just a few minutes. But basically, um, there's a, a, a small little patch that looks like this. And when put on your body or three inches from your body, um, actually, the infrared heat from your body activates the patch and, and the crystals, the organic crystals in there, and it creates a frequency 
that unique frequency causes a biochemical change. So the magic around this particular product called X39, which came out in 2018 to the field and was officially launched to the world in 2019 in January. Uh, the company is in over 75 countries. Well, with I know we have, I think, 15 distribution centers because Thailand's opening up in days. So that's exciting. And uh, this product is distributed all over the world seamlessly through our network marketing company. So um, the patch that what happened was um, this new product called X39, the unique frequency that it activates is called a copper peptide called GHK-CU. And we invite everybody, not just those that are new, but everybody to do your own research on your favorite search engine for copper peptide GHK-CU. And you will discover some very interesting things. We have over, you know, uh, we say 80, 90, 100 clinicals. I know there's 80 published ones that you can look up on our website, lifewave.com, but there's many more in process. And this copper peptide is known in scientific circles as the holy grail of health, healing, and regeneration. It does many, many things. So when you do your own research, you're gonna learn about them. But um, we talk about the things that we have scientific proof for from our clinical studies from independent labs, many times in double blind studies. So um, what happens is this copper peptide gets activated and amazing things happen in the body. It actually, copper peptide actually activates your own younger stem cells and helps create more stem cells from your skin. Because when you're young, when you're a baby, you have like a billion stem cells. And by the time you're in your 30s, you've got about half left. And sadly, by the time you're in your 60s, there's about 10%. And the ones that are there are not nearly as young and healthy and vibrant as those younger ones. So the fact that we can actually activate our own younger stem cells for the cost of a cup of coffee today and literally turn back the biological clock because it alters gene expression of over 4,000 genes to a younger you, it's pretty amazing. So we have this very special company and a founder who's a genius scientist and inventor. And then we were around for 17 years all over the world. And in just a few weeks, we're launching Thailand. They have the soft launch going on right now. So what I wanna do is bring on our special guest this evening. And, um, and, and Dr. Jeffrey Hubbard is a very, very special man. He, he's an MD and he founded, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> he founded a company called Comedicare that he uh, that he actually runs, and he serves all kinds of different populations. And he's he's combined Eastern and uh, Eastern um, Western medicine with natural medicine to really educate people and support them in making healthy life choices, and combines things really beautifully. And I want to welcome Dr. Jeffrey Hubbard. How are you? I am well, how are you? I'm doing excellent, doing excellent. Thanks for having me today. Yeah, well, I always love having you and I, I'm, I'm liking the new hairdo. Well, you know, we were talking about X49 last time I was here and so I wanted to show you guys, I feel like it's growing. So ah. <laughs> if you feel the same way I do. As, uh, yeah, we have a new product, everyone, called X49, and one of the benefits is hair growth. And so next time you go to your hairdresser, have them really take a look and then compare it the next time. So let's jump in here as a doctor and um, with a practice and seeing lots of people. Uh, let's see. What is it um, that actually got you interested enough to look at LifeWave as, you know, something you'd put in your own tool chest? Well, so the, the originally the, the conversation was around the business part of it, right? And, and so I, I really was quite honestly burned out about business and marketing and networking. And I was like, you know, I, one of my good friends, we had been in several businesses together and she was like, Dr. Jeff, you have to see this, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know what? I, I'm going to do this favor for you. I'll take a look at it. And I looked at the 15th anniversary booklet and I was really impressed. 
And that made me go to the website. It made me look at the over 80 something clinical uh, research articles. And that's where things really started to make sense and the rubber met the road. And I was like, wow, if a company is spending this much time and effort and resources, you know, uh, basically presenting the research to the masses, then obviously it has a lot of legitimacy. And so from there, I really started to do my own research. I started to, to compare the articles on the, web, on the website with the articles on PubMed.gov. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but that would be a place where I would really, you know, challenge you to start doing your own due diligence uh, because PubMed.gov is the national database for all biomedical research. And so any publication, any research around the globe is going to be housed for free right on PubMed.gov. And so learning about GHK copper peptide, which I was unaware of, learning about the really the impact of glutathione, which I was unaware of, uh, was really profound. And that's what really got me excited. Uh, I love it. Well, thank you for being open. And I want to just share what you said early on. It was someone who you knew and trusted that introduced you. Because as a healthcare practitioner, you probably get bombarded. Try this, try this. This is the best thing. But if, if those of you in the audience want to approach your practitioner, approach the one you have a relationship with of trust. Because that's what we're hearing from our all of our practitioners, it's, it was from a trusted colleague or friend that introduced it. Okay, so now we have this, um, you're finding amazing things happening for yourself and for your patients. Um, so stem cells, uh, tell us a little bit more about why they're so important. So the cool thing about it, and I just had a conversation on my channel about this. Um, so in the embryo, Right. As we're developing in our mother's womb, we develop three different divisions of tissue, right? The ectoderm, the mesoderm, and the endoderm. And so each one of them correlates to adult organ function, tissue, et cetera. So the ectoderm is our hair, skin, nails, nervous system, brain. Mesoderm is muscle, bone, heart, lungs, kidney. Endoderm is mostly our gut, you know, so stomach, uh, intestines, liver, spleen, pancreas. Pluripotent stem cells, which the X39 helps us to generate, they can eventually morph into any of those adult tissues. So they're our most primitive, basic cell type, and they can eventually become adult tissue. So the beautiful part about them is that they circulate around our system looking for damaged, worn out tissue, inflamed areas, ways that they can better suit themselves to, to make our bodies healthier. So if we have um, issues with circulation or challenges with our cardiovascular system, they'll go in and they'll become heart tissue or blood vessel tissue. If we've got issues with our gut or challenges with our intestines, they can come in and become gut tissue or um, you know, intestinal tissue, if we got issues with bone or muscle joints, which most of us um, have some sort of issue as we age, we can come in and, and rebuild cartilage, rebuild tissue, rebuild issues um, or address issues in the joints. So that's to me the coolest part about stem cells and why they are kind of household names now because um, in traditional healthcare, you know, there's injections in the knee, injections in the shoulder, injections in the back, and now there's IV therapy and supplemental therapy and all these different things. Nothing on the market is like the X39, which is why I'm so excited and why it's like a, really a great tool and tool bag because it's like a fix-all. Well, you said a lot. <laughs> and, and so stem cells are a very crucial part of our body's repair system. And we, we all start as a stem cell and they're the only cells that can differentiate, like you said, into whatever is most needed. And they have this like innate wisdom to know just where to go. So how do people get maximum benefit by utilizing this technology with the X39 uh, product? 
Great question. So uh, number one is that you don't want to build a, an affinity for the product. You want to make sure that you're wearing it on and then you take time to wear it, to not wear it. So there, there's a, a on button and an off button. So either 12 hours on, 12 hours off, or 24 hours on, 24 hours off, which best suits you. Um, but you don't want to plateau, right? So if you're just constantly wearing the technology on a consistent basis, your body doesn't respond when you put on a new one. You want your body to crave that frequency. And every time you put it on, boom, you immediately have that production of GHK. You have that production of, of your healthy stem cell function, et cetera, et cetera. Hydration is key. I mean, that's that's in general, that's a life thing. We want to make sure that you're consuming enough water. So you might be saying, Dr. Jeff, how much is enough? Um, typically, I say two thirds of your body weight in ounces. So you can just type in your current weight into the calculator, uh, multiply by 0.66, and that will give you the amount of ounces you need to be drinking daily. Caveat, if you drink tea, coffee, uh, soft drinks, alcoholic beverages, those are diuretics. They create uh, an urgency or an increased frequency of urination. So you might need to drink a little bit more. And then um, we need 92 vitamins, minerals, and nutrients every day uh, from our diet but specifically the ones that we have associated with the benefit of the light therapy patches are magnesium, copper, and zinc. And so also we talk frequently about, well, how much is enough? I typically just say, follow the recommendation on the supplement. So if you're gonna be supplementing, just follow how many tablets or how many scoops or whatever it is that you're gonna be consuming, just follow the recommended uh, dosage. Okay, so just to summarize, your body needs a break, so 12 hours on, 12 hours off, use consistently, hydrate well, supplement with minerals. How'd I do? Perfect. <laughs> I've been listening to you. I've been learning from you. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so we have this amazing product. We hear miracle stories every day. Um, is there anyone who should not be using this product? No. No, I, I don't know there's any particular reason why you shouldn't be wearing it with these with these small caveats. Okay, so because of the nature of the X39 and the enhancement of our production of stem cells, typically those who are undergoing chemotherapeutic pharmaceutical drugs should discontinue use of the X39 or have a very distinct discussion with your oncologist about how these particular patches may um, create changes in the dosages or the way that they are approaching your treatment, right? And if you have had a kidney transplant, heart transplant, any sort of transplant, and you're taking anti-rejection drugs, that's also a concerning thing because you don't wanna do the opposite of what the drugs are supposed to be doing because that could be life-threatening. So those are the two main things that we caution against. But okay. you know, in many instances, if you're in active disease, I would suggest that you kind of have a conversation with your clinician to kind of make sure that everybody's on the same sheet of music. Um, in general, guys, I would introduce an article and hopefully they read it and they are able to digest it. But that's really a great way to go about introducing this to your clinician. Beautiful. Yeah, we always want our practitioners to be our partners and let them know what we're doing as <laughs> a good idea. Um, so help me understand, how long will it take for people to actually notice that there's any kind of benefit from using this product? Great question. And that's an individualized thing. Um, so for me, I, within the first day or so, I began to notice some things happening with me, but I was really paying close attention to what was going on with me. And I use my brain a lot. So um, it, I, I noticed immediately that I kind of had an enhanced sort of uh, function and I felt good. I felt motivated. I felt energetic. Um, but that's not everybody's experience, guys. So I think in order to, to give the product its proper opportunity to impact you, you need, you know, between 90 and 120 days. So some people 180 days. Um, and, and consider this, these issues that you're having, these issues that you want to see improve, they didn't happen overnight. 
So you can't expect them to go away overnight. So you got to give the opportunity for the patches to really begin to work. And I know, uh, Robin, I'm sure you share with your group the same way that we share with our group is that, you know, you need to write down things that you want to see impacted and then constantly check your, your list and see like, okay, you know, is my memory better? Is my cognitive function better? Am I sleeping better? Do I have more energy? Does this need continue to bother me at the degree that it's bothering me? You know, um, all of the, am, am I performing better at work? Am I performing better in, in exercise? So, so, you know, those are some really common things that typically uh, change with people within that six month window. And so, you know, I've been wearing the patches for um, Valentine's Day was my birthday, my LifeWave birthday, guys. So that's two years now that I've been wearing the patches and I still see things change on a consistent basis. So it's it's not that you're gonna get to six months and whatever you've had, whatever's happened in that time frame is what's gonna happen. Over time, you continue to see really awesome stuff happen. Okay, I hope everyone really heard that because some of us, you know, we live in such a fast paced life and we expect instant gratification and it's wonderful. Sometimes people do get something like right away, but, you know, give it, many months, you know, anywhere from three to six months. And, and you mentioned a health tracker, really give yourself a baseline before you get started. And if you haven't gotten one, get one from the person who introduced you and write down, you know, um, where you are with the things on the health tracker. And like you just said, Dr. Jeff, what else do you want to get even better. And it is what you said, cumulative, it gets better and better over time. And isn't that wonderful? I mean, one of my favorite studies is one of the newer studies by Dr. Chevalier on cognitive function. And right. what he proved is the longer the people wear the patches, the greater the cognitive function. Well, isn't that exciting, especially for people that are you know, moving into those um, elder years, because a lot of people have concerned about that, but to know that you can get better and better. Okay, any other final comments before we open up for some questions and stories? Put it on, watch the magic happen. Okay, all right, you ready? Okay, we're gonna start, and thank you everyone for putting your questions in the Q&A, because then I can find them really easily. So Casey, it says, I have a potential customer who is a very, who has very discolored ankles and tops of her feet. She was told it may be because of poor circulation and the color is permanent. Do you recommend that a patch might help? Absolutely. X39 is perfect for this lady. Um, you know, studies have shown that circulation improves dramatically. So really, really get in there consistently patched with X39. And I think she'll start to really see and notice some differences. Great. Would you recommend energy patches on the bottom of her feet? Absolutely. That's another great choice. You know, just, yeah. just to move that chi and, and to make sure that she's getting, you know, ample, you know, blood flow and everything like that. So the combination of those two things would be really valuable. Great. And we do majorly focus on X39 because it is so comprehensive. And for most everyone, that's really the only one, you know, starting out with that one. And then later on, after, you know, three months or so, maybe introduce, unless you have a serious condition. So we kind of like good, better, best. And so X39 is foundational. And, um, do you know of any articles by oral surgeons who use the patches? I have not read anything specifically from dentistry or oral surgery, um, but I have heard a lot of testimonials about wearing the patches on your face um, in, in areas where you have an inflamed tooth or an infected tooth or something like that and seeing people recover dramatically. Okay, all right. Okay, Gail is asking, um, I'll be doing serious icing all day on my hip. Any reason why I may not, may not want to wear ice wave patches also? You know, so I don't think, I don't, first of all, let me address the, the direct question. I don't see any reason for not wearing the patches at all. So, I mean, there's really no rationale to say, no, you shouldn't wear the patches. 
the, the, the thing could be is that you wear the ice wave after you've iced to you know, further address pain, swelling, inflammation, the things that, that the ice wave patch addresses. Um, but you could wear them before, during, or after. I don't see any reason to, to suggest that you couldn't. Yeah, I mean, I heard a story today of someone who had had a, um, a major um, surgical procedure and they didn't need one pain pill. Thank you, Patches. Isn't that wonderful? Um, so Jim, Jim and Janice are saying, can the patches be put on the body upside down if I'm able to place the sticky side down? Good question. Great question. And this is something that oftentimes uh, gets lost in, in the conversation because everybody thinks, well, actually, we were just talking earlier about the adhesive creating some sort of irritation of the skin. How do you combat that? You can wear the patches on your clothing. As long as the patches are within an inch or two of your skin, they'll be activated by your body heat and they'll begin to work. So definitely you can wear them either direction. It doesn't matter. Just because one side has adhesive doesn't mean that that's the only side you can wear them on. That's so good to know, isn't it? Yeah. It, really, it really doesn't matter. Okay, how about this one? How many patches of different kinds can you stack? Would you recommend stacking over acupoints, two, three, or more? So I, so I don't know if you guys are familiar with, uh, oh man, what's the name of this? There's, there's a LifeWay family member who has a website and he's an acupuncturist. And so he talks a lot about uh, acupuncture locations and how to wear them. And he's got his own philosophy about the patches. I can't recall right now, but um, he suggests stacking three patches in many of his protocols. So that's what I would do. I think maybe patching four kind of gets into a little bit of overkill. I've never had experience with more than three. Typically I stack two, sometimes I stack three. And, and it's interesting to know each patch activates a different frequency and they don't interact with each other. They do different things. And I think it's also important for people to know that because there's nothing going in the body and the body's job is to come to homeostasis, the body will never hurt itself. And so that's a really important safety feature. I think that's good for everybody to know. Okay, um, see Gail's saying, is it okay to wear two sets of ice wave, one on the hip and one on the back? Yes, just don't just don't wear them for longer than the allotted time period. Great, okay. and okay. you know another thing: if people have pain in many areas, using one of the total body pain points is also another way to address pain in several areas. So check out the total body pain points. Okay, uh, Julianne, is there a way to know that X39 is working if you don't see results, even with taking notes? If a healthy person wears the patch and doesn't notice anything, do you still recommend wearing it or do you stop? That's a personal preference, but you know, my suggestion would be you continue this is a preventative type of thing. And I know um, from, from day one, when we enter this dimension, we're taught about medicines, right? We're taught about, I have an issue, here's a solution. We don't talk about how we prevent the, the issue from happening in the first place. So GHK copper peptide, as Robin so eloquently put it earlier, it is, it's just a lifestyle molecule. It makes sure that everything is functioning properly. It, it manages gene expression. 4,192 different genes have been documented to be influenced by this molecule. It's producing healthy proteins on a daily basis. If you're healthy, you might not necessarily see that until you get into your latter years where your body starts to decline. That's, I, would, I, don't, I don't wanna get to 50 or 60 and start seeing issues. I want to prevent them so that maybe I don't start seeing issues until I'm 80 or 90. That's my thinking. All and right. How I approach it. So, I mean, it's totally understandable if maybe there's a financial component or something like that. You know, that's that's something that you got to balance. But um, I, I would always, I, I'm just a huge proponent for the patches. I think everybody should be wearing them. 
Yeah. I mean, that's a really good point because if someone's really fit and healthy and they're not noticing, um, it, it's, it's a judgment call, but we know it's working and we know it's altering gene expression to a younger you. So, you know, my, my feedback is do more research to learn what else is going on in your body. So like Dr. Jeffrey said is research the copper peptide, go to PubMed and research GHK-CUNC, all the things it does. Cause I mean, we take vitamins, do we notice a difference? You know, it's, it's, it's our belief and our belief comes from really understanding the value and what is really happening. We got just a few more minutes. Let's see. Uh, my 20 year old son, this is from Deborah, has small areas of scaling and flaking causing itching all over his scalp. Would you, is there any recommendations? Hmm. So, so, you know, the, the scalp is kind of difficult because of our hair. So um, what I recommend is like take one of those clips or, or hair pins or something like that. And you can take the, the patches and kind of apply them in the areas. Um, and, and typically glutathione is really powerful with any sort of skin irritation, any sort of blemishes or things like that. It can just you know, within a couple of days really be impactful. So I would start there um, and just kind of clip, you know, maybe one or two in, in some affected areas and see how that helps. And typically Great. do it overnight or, or do it when you're not going to be rustling around. There you go. Okay. Glenn is asking, can you use two X39 patches, one on the left knee and one on the right, if they're both bone on bone? Yes. Yes, no problem. The, the, so guys, here's, here's the thing. You, you can't overdo it. You can only overdo it by wearing them too long. You can't overdo it by wearing too many. So there's a, there's a really cool story. I'll share this 10 seconds. There was a member in, in my team and he had, in, you know, um, had a conversation with this gentleman and, and was told him by X39 and gave him some samples he said, hey, um, he bumped into him again three weeks later and he had the same patches on. Three weeks later, he had been wearing the patches. He's like, oh my God, dude, you're not supposed to be wearing them that long. And he says, I feel amazing. I don't want to take these things off. <laughs> and, and so, it, you know, the thing is, is we just got to keep focused that you can wear both knees, you can wear both knees and a back, you can wear, you know, at, wherever you want to wear them, just make sure you give your body a chance to rest. That's, that's the only thing that you need to implement. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, this is, this is a, um, a, an appropriate one for someone I know from Heidi. Uh, what about immediately following a C-section uh, procedure? What would you recommend? So any surgical procedure where you've had a, 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 you know, a cut in the skin and there's scar tissue and there needs to be healing, X39 is going to be your best friend. Now, if you've got some specific pain in the area or something like that, then Ice Wave Eon can be an additional sort of approach. So think Ice Wave Eon for acute issues, right? Immediately today, I need pain relief. I need to, you know, have this scar begin to heal. Go there. Long term, over the course of weeks to months, you want to think X39 to really heal everything and go, but, but the, the, uh, the healing capability associated with X39 is, is quite, it's, it's unbelievable sometimes. Um, so that's, that's where I would start. That, that's so beautiful. I, the way I say it is really similar, but different. I say the X39 is kind of like the long game and Ian and Ice Wave are like the short game where you can feel things immediately and get the relief, but to regenerate the damaged cells and accelerate the healing, X39 is key. So um, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, um, but this is from Bob. This is interesting. I, I heard that the white patch of both the ice wave and energy are the same, but the tan patch is different. Are the patches different enough that if you wear the energy enhancer during the day and the ice wave at night, does, the body, does that give the body an off period sufficiently? Yes. Great, That's I love it. That's my All right. own. Uh, that that it, that's it. And so you could wear energy during the day and ice wave at night, and you're not 
going over your 12 hours. That's great. Right. Um, let's see. Uh, so um, Katie is a guest here, and so she doesn't know our guidelines very well, but she, she said, I was invited here. Very interesting so far. How would you help someone recovering from a, you know, a heart condition? Um, and so, you know, with me, I'm thinking about what kind of heart condition we're talking about because there could be different protocols. But in general, carnosine is a cardiovascular support molecule. So that would be a great place to start carnosine. Um, X39 has been shown clinically to improve our blood pressure and our circulation. So obviously the reduction on the stress of the heart through X39's influence is going to be extremely powerful. Um, glutathione is great as well. It, it's great for insulin resistance. It's great for peripheral circulation. So those would be the three things that I would begin to address. And if there's a stress-related component, which typically there is with heart pathology, then you want to think Eon, because Eon is our anti-stress patch. It has an influence on our parasympathetic nervous system, which is the opposite of fight or flight. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah, carnosine is kind of like the, what do they call it? the the red-haired stepchild. People don't, it doesn't get that much attention, but it's amazing and i know people that it's their favorite patch and and you know it it's for muscle and the heart's a muscle right. and i've heard amazing stories with people that have heart challenges using carnosine and having incredible and you put it like right in the middle of your chest mm -hmm. you know which is very exciting okay so here's iris and um she's dealing with the high blood pressure that's her symptom what would you recommend x39 well, there you go. Okay. Are you guys getting the message? <laughs> it's pretty clear here. Okay. Um, uh, Petra has uh, was wondering what you would recommend for neurological disorder, something that is causing shaking and tremors. You know, again, so it's 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 the long game versus the short game. You know, so obviously that can be, you know, really debilitating if you don't have some acute sort of uh, uh, approach. But the long term is going to be X39. Um, and I would really look at glutathione for the for the shaking and discomfort. I would go with Eon. Um, Eon just helps to calm the nervous system. So those two in combo, I wouldn't stack them. I would wear them, you know, wear Eon on the back of the neck and maybe wear glutathione underneath the navel. Um, and then X39 overnight helps to, during that, what we call, um, as we're, we're rebuilding, as we're sleeping, X39 could be very valuable in helping to rebuild healthy tissue. Um, and then the other thing is typically when people have debilitating neuro neurological disease, their, their emotions are just not good. So Nirvana could be really helpful as well um, to kind of just help keep our mood appropriate and keep, you know, um, I find that if you're happy and you're focused and you're, 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 you're wanting to get better, you get better. There you go. Uh, they are vibrational and our vibration makes a difference in interacting with the patches vibration, doesn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. A lot of people. So um, we have a lot, a lot, a lot of more questions, but it, we are past our time tonight, everyone. And I want to thank you for being here. Thank you, Dr. Jeff, Thanks, for sharing Jeff. your great wisdom and your, your new fun hair. <laughs> it's going to be fun to watch it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> all of us are going to get to share all kinds of cool stuff and 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 thank you everyone for taking the time to be with us tonight and if you are a guest we really appreciate you taking time out of your busy life uh please get back to the person who did invite you and and get started the products come with a guarantee and you've as gregory says nothing to lose but your health to gain and make sure you do that health tracker and get a baseline um so we've got a customer program we have a program if you're the kind of person that likes to share the company will reward you generously with a compensation for sharing and so we're we're in the caring and sharing business and we get to change lives every day and wake up and hear miracle stories how wonderful so anyway thank you everyone for being with us good night bye-bye thanks guys